Well, we're back in the 8th of uh, December turn still. That's probably my third or fourth video on this particular turn. And it's the Germans' uh, movement phase. And we've done a fair bit of movement here. And one thing that I am noticing uh, is that given the the both the volume of units and the scale of the game, uh, I'm having... Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble, and also uh, with uh, the continuity of the game in that I may play half a turn or a turn and then not touch it for a week or uh, something of that nature. Or maybe I'll play late one night because I'm trying to cram a turn in or play early one morning like I am right now and try and cram a turn in uh, when I've really got other things I should be doing. And what I think what's happening is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm making a few mistakes, which are okay, that don't necessarily impact the uh, the big picture of the game. And I'm completely okay with making those errors. I have no issues with that. It doesn't spoil the game, doesn't change the game, doesn't change the outcome, you know, plus or minus a division here or there, or a step or a T or uh, whatever the case may be. That's not a big deal. What is a big deal is when you uh, when you uh, miscount over here, uh, miscount trace supply, and, uh, and and you know you you're thinking you've got guys in supply, and then you don't, and then you look at it and go, what what was I thinking last turn, <laughs> man? Uh, and I think this part of the problem is that I've tried to advance on too many fronts and uh, spread myself too thin, so. Um, whether that's uh, selective creative thinking thinking or uh, creative rules interpretation in some way, shape or form, I have, uh, I believe, made some mistakes that, that kind of impact the game. So uh, I called a halt on the northern advance up here for a full turn and moved only units with infantry movement rates and readjusted my uh, forces and my extenders and things like that. The blue dots are either railheads or extenders. Uh, and uh, and I think that, uh, you know, I'm trying to compensate, right? I'm trying to uh, pull the uh, the Germans back a little bit further because they, they got a little, little out of hand. Um, you know, we had them down in, uh, down in this area here at one point. Where was it? Here, somewhere. And uh, they, whilst, while, while they could have reached with all the little extenders and stuff, I was off by a hex somewhere because of uh, not accounting for a frozen river or something like that, or Smyrna River. And then I, I guess I moved to headquarters to try and fix that, and that broke the supply chain somewhere else. And that's the problem is that I'm not, I'm not uh, you need to be more channeled and more focused with your logistics with this particular game and and I think trying to advance on uh, you know two or more avenues is probably ill-advised and, and as you can see uh, in the distance here you know there's a there's a railhead there's one there and there's another one there and you know and I'm moving that one down there to try and uh, link up to Rejev so that I'll have a little extra reach to uh, try and get into Cullinan in. I really did want to try to explore that uh, part of history over there. That may not happen. I've now got three divisions cooling their heels over there because of my errors, which is uh, annoying. Over here, you know, this counterattack was very successful for the Soviets. Now, it ended up uh, the last attack the Soviets made was expensive and it cost them a step, which allowed me to... Uh, have a free, an easier attack with the, with the Germans to kind of re, re, reinforce the supply. So, whereas the Soviets reinforce success, the Germans are reinforcing failure. Uh, we brought the 18th Panzer up and, uh, and, and spread them around a little bit to uh, boost up some of these little stacks that only had one or two steps in them. And uh, also, I've got to keep a linkage here with third motorized. So, uh, you know, I've got a big HQ here that's throwing, and uh, then we're we're reaching through the line here. And as you can see, this is all real thin here. I've got guys surrounded here uh, in the distance. You can't, can you see that? You can't. I don't know. It seems like they're zoomed in or something. No. Uh, you know, 
It's it's really tenuous. There's lots of little breaks, but now these guys are all potentially out of supply uh, unless they can count back to this. Uh, if you remember, first shock army is just over here. Oh wow, he's way out of picture over here. Anyway, uh, this all leads me to thinking that uh, in the next couple of turns I may halt play, uh, given the number of errors that are being made. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, the last thing you want to do is go, oh, well, I played, uh, you know, whatever it is, 50 turns or whatever. It'll end up being you know, something in that nature if I carried on through January or December. Oh, excuse me. Um, and then go, yeah, well, the Germans did this or the Soviets did this. And then you know that really they didn't because you screwed up trace three times in a row or four times in a row or whatever it may be. So, uh, so maybe we'll set up a smaller scenario or maybe we'll just move on to the next major conflict in uh, the chronological walkthrough for, uh, for World War Two. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more later. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with the... Uh, with the attention to detail I've been able to provide the game and, and I feel like I'm shortchanging the experience uh, so those things those things matter to me uh, and like I said I'm not fussed if I make a few small errors with rules and things but uh, the big stuff matters all right talk to you soon we're going to run out of uh, uh, recording space here so I'll let you go small mercies some extra coffee and next thing you know, uh, I am uh, in a, a much better mind about all of this. The, uh, at first I thought I'd messed all this up here too, but then I, I found my little extender and that allowed me to have all these guys be in supply and I thought they were out of supply and I was just sat here for 10 minutes looking at the map and I didn't have a blue block on it so I didn't notice it and this uh, extender was stacked underneath uh, this unit and uh, some some uh, supply and I was getting all really frustrated. I was ready to throw the tip, tip the boards. Um, nevertheless, uh, we had a pretty good turn for the Germans, moved a lot of forces forward, um, leapfrogging two wagon extenders and moving the rail up. And that is allowing me to get, uh, basically here's my uh, extender. Uh, supply extender and then uh, next turn uh, I can press my headquarters forward and that's going to allow me to reach Rostov if I really want want to. Um, I'm not sure that I do but I can. Uh, really have no idea what I'm doing down here to be quite honest. I had a plan and uh, I'm just not sure that that it's uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to think about what I'm going to do with uh, all these forces down here. There's two divisions somewhere. There's one division there. There's another division here. Actually, where'd it go? I must be out of frame for you. No, here they are. There's two divisions right here. Uh, plus, I've got uh, the Wicking Vikings here. And uh, there's another division over here on this side. All the way over there. I can bring him up as well. And his motorized, 60th motorized is just over there on the right hand. So there's a fair amount of force there. In the meantime, the Soviets have been pretty aggressively building up the uh, hedgehog levels, although they can't go over two. So they're trying to build a nice, decent line uh, of level two hedgehogs right across the board there. And I've got a bunch of units stacked in the back in reserve. Uh, just kind of leaving them all in static mode and uh, that pile of SP you see in the back there belongs to somewhere else but that's the SP from this turn that was allocated. I also, as the Soviets uh, started uh, building up some supply in Stalingrad just in case and uh, that's kind of the situation. So this will be the end of the 8th of December and we will uh, we'll see what happens next. Talk to you soon.